What's up, everybody? This is Ashton again from Muse Themes, here today to demo our new social sharing group widget. We've had a lot of requests recently for a variety of updates to our previous social sharing widget, but instead we have a freshly built alternative with some pretty cool features and additional supported platforms. I'll also note that this new widget is not a replacement for our social sharing widget, but rather an alternative. So that older social sharing widget will still be available on our site. The most notable difference with this new widget is the fact that it displays the social networks as a group of icons, whereas the original widget displays a single button that prompts a flyout panel with the networks. So here on our live demo, we have our icons displayed horizontally with a variety of different themes to pick from, this first one being the plane setting, but there are several other ways to display the widget, including different orientations and pinning, which we'll get into that shortly. So let me just switch right over to Muse, and as always, we will drag the widget out from the library onto the Muse canvas. And you won't see the individual networks displayed here on the Muse canvas, but rather this black box. But as you might expect, the placement of this box will reflect the placement of the actual social network buttons on your page. Except in the case of side pinning, which I'll touch on in a minute. So let's pop open the flyout panel. Your first field, social sharing networks. Now this allows you to enable or disable the individual networks by simply having the name listed here. The ones that come listed here as default are the available ones to use, but you can remove as many of them as you wish. Just make sure to maintain this format, separating each one with one space and a comma. Most of you are familiar with all of these already, but I'll just note that the email function, as with our older social sharing widget, when the user clicks for email, it will open whatever the user's default email client is on their computer, and it will open a new email with a link to the web page. All others function as you might expect. WhatsApp is mainly useful for those browsing on a phone, since the button is designed to open the WhatsApp app on a phone. Theme, you have four different ways to display the icons, so feel free to play around with these to see which one best suits your site. Layout, your first two options, horizontal and vertical, as it sounds, will display the icons as such, and will be reflected wherever you place this actual widget element on your page. The last two options for layout allow you to pin the widget to either side of your page. So it's always displayed vertically when pinned, and what's cool is you don't have to pin the actual widget element or place it anywhere specific. If you're using a pinned option, you can actually move this whole widget off your page entirely and get it out of the way. The pinning setting here in the settings panel will take care of everything for you. Alignment. This one's a bit more of a fine-tuning setting, but alignment sets how the icons will be displayed in relation to this widget container. So let's say I don't want them pinned. I just want to display them horizontally on the very top of my page, right in the center. So I'll drag the widget up to the top, and we'll make sure to center it. And in the settings panel right now, we can see the alignment is set default to left. So if I preview this in a browser, you can see the icons are not exactly centered like I want, but rather justified the left-hand side of where my widget container begins. So to fix this, I can jump back into the settings panel. We can change the alignment to center. Preview in a browser once again. And voila, everything's centered. So back in the settings panel, this option here for padding from top. This is only available for pinned layouts, but you can set how many pixels down from the top of your browser you want the icons to display. Furthermore, we have button size and spacing customizable here. Share in allows you to customize the resulting pop-up that occurs when the user clicks a share button. So you can leave it on the pop-up window or set it to the same window or even a completely new window. And lastly, these check boxes here on the bottom allow you to toggle on the label, which displays the names of the social networks, and the count as well, which will display the number of times it's been shared. So pretty straightforward, but still very useful and important in today's social media-driven world. So we hope that you all find some good use out of this, and if you run into any trouble or just want to drop us a note, please don't hesitate. Have a great day!